everybody, this is Brian from Carving is Fun, and let's talk about what kind of knife you should get for whittling and wood carving. Should you get a folding knife or should you get a fixed blade knife? Anyone who's looking to get their first knife might be initially a little overwhelmed by all the different knives on the market. And then when you start adding in folding and fixed bladed knives into the mix, it almost doubles the amount of choices you have to sort through. Now the best way I found to help whittle down the options, pun intended, is to ask yourself a few quick questions to help filter your choices. The first and most important question you should ask when trying to decide between a fixed bladed knife and a folding pocket knife for whittling is, where will you be using the knife? The two main types of places you're probably gonna be using them is one at a workbench like I am right now, or like if you're out and about camping, hiking, or just away from your carving bench uh, most of the time. Starting off for your bench, you probably want to look at more fixed bladed knives, primarily because they're more comfortable to hold on to. They are a little bit better priced compared to folding counterparts. Uh, and you can get more different designs for the blades uh, to fit your actual needs. Now, if you're on the go, obviously a pocket knife will be one of your better choices. Uh, you can slip it in your pocket anywhere and you have a nice little pocket carving tool. These will also sometimes come with multiple blades on them, which is useful because if you're away from your workbench and you don't have all your cutting tools, you'll have all of them in your pocket in one go. So you don't have to worry about uh, wearing out your knife or if you need a smaller knife. You'll have multiple different knives available. Then the second question is, what is it that you're going to be carving? Sometimes if you're doing like detailed figurines, you're going to want something uh, a little bit more options for uh, your carving knives and fixed blade knives usually have more options to them. But if you're doing quick and simple carvings uh, on the go, you're not going to spend uh, like over 30 minutes trying to carve something. Sometimes a pocket knife is just going to be good because you may not be trying to make something super detailed, but you can still make something really cool. And sometimes if you're carving something that's more specialized, let's say if you're carving a spoon, you're going to probably want the, a spoon carving knife, which are usually going to be in a fixed bladed uh, tool. And also the tools are a little bit larger and more comfortable to hold on to. You can see that there's going to be an obvious comfort difference between these two knives. And you also won't need to have like all the different fancy tools because you're probably going to be doing something simple. Now if you do want some of the other cool tools, like FlexCut does sell the the carving jack, which has a bunch of different types of knives in there, so you can do a lot of cool stuff on the go as well. Now before I go over the last question, I want to let you know that this channel is all about carving everything from wood to stone, and it's a fun way for me to share what I know with all of y'all. If you like the videos, please feel free to hit like and subscribe. It's, it's a quick and easy way for me to see that you all are enjoying the videos, and it helps me pick what to make next. Final question is, what is my budget? If you're looking at a lot of knives, uh, looking at different knives, usually you'll see the fixed bladed knives are going to be a bit cheaper than the folding knives of equal quality. Uh, primarily because the folding knives are a bit more complicated and the fixed bladed knives are just basically a blade on a stick. But fixed bladed knives usually will have more of a simple design to it. This puts more focus into the quality of the blade and overall handle design and whatnot. So, um, more of the money is going to the quality of the material instead of any moving parts. Uh, it's nice because the blade is very solid, there's no movement whatsoever, and it just makes for an overall good cutting tool. Uh, but you do only usually just get one blade out of the deal. Now folding knives on the other hand are more complicated in design. Uh, while they may have still good quality steel, it's they're going to be a bit uh, more complex is they have like levers in there for opening and closing they have pivot points and then like some of them will have a locking blade on it to uh, help keep the blade in place all of these will add uh, increase the price to a degree um, so usually these knives will be more expensive but you do get the the option of having multiple blades or even multiple tools in them so that is a benefit. I noted not all the knives will have multiple blades. Some of them will just have one blade to them. And these blades are usually pretty good and cheap. Like the Open L Carbon Steel, very cheap knife at about 15 bucks. 
but if you're a beginner you're trying to get into everything on a budget I would primarily stick with just getting the fixed bladed knives because it's a good possibility you're just going to be using it at home or in a in a single place you can carry the knives with you if you're on a budget Beavercraft all the way it's going to be one of your best options for getting a good quality whittling knife at, at a great price flex cut will be the next step up they have a bit better steel and a bit better um, blade design than the than the beavercraft ones and then another one i really like is occ tools great option uh, i would probably th these are the ones that usually end up in my hands over any of my other whittling knives now if you also want to see some other great uh, knife choices check out some of my other videos on the screen here and in the description below to help further determine what kind of knives you should get. Uh, as always thanks for watching guys and have a great day.